Ma'am, thank you. You may not know it, but August is Digestive Tract Paralysis Awareness Month. Sounds like a condition nobody wants to contend with. And here to explain what it is is Dr. Amir Sood, medical co-director of the Hartford Healthcare Neurogastroenterology and Utility Center. Doctor, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's get right into it. What exactly is digestive tract paralysis? Well, generally speaking, when we talk about gen uh, digestive tract paralysis, we're talking about a group of disorders, motility disorders that can affect the gastrointestinal tract, the most common of which are gastroparesis and chronic inertia. So there's another condition called chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction that's become more recognized and prevalent over the past several years. All right. And what are some causes of these motility disorders and how do you treat them? The, the most common uh, cause of motility disorders in general from a systemic standpoint are diabetes and its associated uh, complications. But it's homeopathic, which basically means an explanation hasn't yet been discovered. Uh, although there are some promising uh, possibilities, uh, genetic factors, for example, have also been identified as, as possibilities. And what are the symptoms? What should people be looking out for? It really depends on what part of the digestive tract is affected. So it could be something like nausea, early satiety, basically, which means you feel full very fast, bloating, uh, vomiting, constipation, really depends on, on where it's, uh, it's affected. We talked a little bit, doctor, just a little while ago of how it's treated. And a question now for you is, how is it diagnosed and is there a cure? The, with motility uh, disorders in general, it really takes a very careful and dedicated kind of history and physical exam for us to try and localize what part of the digestive tract we really think the effect is. And then we have dedicated testing, imaging, motility testing, uh, endoscopy to really get down to the bottom of things and hopefully get to a diagnosis pretty quickly. And, you know, I have to say it doesn't sound comforting or pleasing. So how do you comfort patients when they think they may be experiencing this, but understandably, they're not afraid to get checked out or face the fact that they may actually have this. You know, uh, at the Motility Center, our kind of whole goal is improving uh, of the quality of life. So the first thing I tell people, and this is kind of my catchphrase, is, you know, I don't know if I can fix things. I can't switch it off. But I can definitely put all my efforts uh, forward to really improve your quality of life mm. and your suffering, relieve the suffering. You know, a lot of times it's as simple as a medication that uh, patients have to take daily, which can improve gut function, can speed up the gastrointestinal tract if needed. A lot of times it's endoscopic therapies. So really by getting to a diagnosis, we can get to a cure. So it's very important to have that evaluation. All right. Good advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Amir Masood, for joining us. And as Thank always, you. where can people go for more information? Our website is a, a great resource. And uh, anybody who uh, would like a consultation, we uh, you know would be happy to see and, uh, and even offer advice if needed. Great. And we have that at the bottom of our screen right here. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.